all aboard for Britain remaining in the European Union. Are you going to be voting, girls? No. No. Is it not time we took back control? I think that's just young, I suppose. Like, politics we don't, don't really interest it. me. We don't understand it. We say this matters so much for our country. It's been described as a once-in-a-generation decision, but it seems like one generation, the youngest, is particularly disengaged from the referendum debate. Are you going to be voting? No. Why not? Never voted in my life. Why all. is that? I just don't know much about it. 80% of voters aged 65 or older say they'll definitely vote. But compare that to 18 to 24 year olds, and there's a drop down to 47% who say they'll definitely vote. A voter registration campaign launched three weeks ago has seen 360,000 under 25 year olds sign up. There's been a huge drive to get young voters registered, but the real fear is even if they are, they may not turn up on the day. I have to be positive. If you're a transgender guy and you come out 31 years ago, you have to be a little bit positive. Otherwise, you get your head kicked in. Oh. <laughs> One man trying to address that problem is comedian Eddie Izzard. On a massive push to get young people voting remain, he's performing 31 shows in 31 cities. This one in Edinburgh. But Eddie, I don't mean to be rude, but you're not that young anymore, so why would people feel you're engaged with their issues? They may not listen to me at all, but they do seem to be quite positive to me. I don't know why, but I salute them anyway, because you see, the body is whatever age it is, 109, but in here, I'm 22, I'm always 22. His positive campaign seemed to get a positive reception, but then was he preaching to the converted? Almost everyone we spoke to here was already backing Remain. Many young voters would have been babies or not even born during the EU's recent history. Whether it's the launch of the Euro or previous economic unpredictability in Europe. Hello, Madam Foley. On the streets of North London, these young Leave campaigners try to persuade voters, among them Joey Essex. There's no out there younger politicians, is there really? I mean, I've never, I've not, I don't think there is a 25-year-old politician, is there? Proper well, politicians, like big, well-known ones, like Ed Miliband, uh, David Cameron, is he a politician? I, mean, I know he's the Prime Minister, but he's still a politician, isn't he? Back at the Summerley Tea Party near Bournemouth, some young voters are more engaged. Are you going to be voting, girls? To stay. To stay. I was going to vote to leave. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even just gone there. No. no. You can just go off, do your own thing. You don't have to worry about a visa. You can travel everywhere, and I think that's a great side to being in the EU. Just the, the EU make the overall decisions for everything, not the UK. Just to be more independent. I'm a care assistant and basically the, the majority, it's weird being a minority because I'm one of the few yeah, people so. in my job that speak English. They come from Romania, they come from the Philippines and in that in their country, we were speaking about what their minimum wage is, and sometimes it can go lo lo as low as one pound. If you're immigrating from other country, the wages over here are like brilliant, sending home for their family. But it means the people who are originally from England are being affected, and they're the so ones, yeah, and they're the ones lose, lower. yeah, losing the jobs really. Whether they intend to vote or not, the one thing that comes across really clearly is people feel there's not enough information out there targeted at them. Just 16% of 18 to 24 year olds say they feel well informed or very well informed about the vote. You know, you're your mind up. To try and attract young voters, Team Brexit has put on a concert featuring members of Bucks Fizz. What's your reckon? Um, I don't know what's going on. How about you? <laughs> It's so not this generation. <laughs> While the Remain camp issued this video. Does it make you interested to vote? Makes me want to go travelling. The, the, the raving bit interests me. Does it? On June 23rd, the decision made will affect this generation most of all. But if they don't turn up to vote, it might be made by another generation for them. <laughs>